Hello, stranger. Welcome to ancient Mesopotamia, 5000 BC. You are standing in the spot that in 5000 BC would have been occupied by three Sumerian villages, as we know from the settlement maps produced by the archaeologists. This place would later become one of humanity's first cities, the city of Arak. The people you see around are Sumerians. They invented writing, the wheel, and made many other important discoveries. Quiet. It's early morning in ancient Mesopotamia. But yeah, I already see some villagers are waking up. See, there is hardly any recreation time for ordinary people, so after waking up they would just grab something quick to eat, and immediately after they would start working, and they would be working all day. Well, that's where the shepherds live. Notice there is one shepherd that walks around and does a gesture like that to keep the sheep organized. Already in 5000 BC, Sumerians had domestic animals. Sheep were kept inside the village and were a very important source of milk for them. There are a couple of shepherds that you see here that are milking the sheep. And usually they would just grab a clay pot and that's where the milk would be collected. Here is a place where fishermen live and you can see some of them moving alongside the river on a boat. It's actually represent an interesting case as to how much of an educated guess many things in history are. When we were building this simulation, we actually didn't know how the fishermen would be propelling their boats. It's surprising how little we actually know about even cultures that had writing. So we didn't know whether in ancient Mesopotamia they would be potentially rowing with two paddles like that, or would they be sitting inside a boat on their knees holding a single paddle, similar to how, say, American Indians in the past would have done that, right? Or maybe they would be standing in the boat and doing that with a much longer paddle. So we had to come up with an educated guess. In one of our brainstorming sessions, we concluded that fishermen were quite poor in this society and timber was scarce. So they would not be able to afford having two paddles and would likely have one short paddle that would work well for sitting inside a canoe. But then we found a picture in one of the museums of a person with a long paddle inside the boat. It was on one of the cylinder seals in Louvre, in Paris. The hypothesis had to be revised, but unfortunately we already made a simulation with them sitting on their knees and rowing in a canoe, but in the next version this is what we will do. Which is recording a new simulation where the person with a paddle would be standing inside the boat and the paddle would be much longer. Well, this is the end of our short introduction to ancient Mesopotamia. All good things have to end. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and interesting. Goodbye.